Well, hello everyone. I'm May here. Um, I'm back with um, a tutorial how to how I make my uh, videos. So I'm just gonna fast open one if it wanna start. But yeah, if you maybe have seen my newest videos, it's really um, it has 60 frames per second, so it's really smooth and really clear and in full HD. So I was like, ah, fabulous. But yeah, no, that's just okay. So this is one of my new one. We just fast it. Yeah. Like, one of my main points is actually uh, having good physicals. Um, like, I know this good isn't really the best, but I love the physical on it, so, and it fits really well, so, yeah. Um, I'm fast going to show you how um, the main stuff uh -huh. I normally use. As a light, like. Uh, the FX like chia blends is always something I use mostly on half make sometimes a little less like we can sound sturdy and we can still see it like it make it more dimensional. Um something else is true camera um which I really use a lot. Um as you can see, it's do this a lot of times, so normally I just uh -huh. take it a little down. Let's see, we just pass it. Like, the effect is still there, kinda. Um, let's say, so. Like, it doesn't really matter, I can easily put them. Um, let's see if this is here. No. Um, let's fast check it. It's here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, like that. Oh, I need to load. But I'm really working more on my videos than I normally do. Uh, like did, if you can say it so. Um, let's set alcohol focus on. No. So let's do like this. Like it gives a more uh -huh. dimensional, or like it's more background. You don't need to see. Okay. Well, that does definitely really work. But yeah, chill blends and true camera is the stuff I almost all always have with. Um, something else is, let's see if I have it here, no it's not here, but full shader, because it just looks really um, low quality when you can see the really rough shadow, so it's really just to smooth that out also, because who oh, even wants that? Well, sometimes I use shader. Stupid thing. Sometimes I use shader um, that then I can kind of live with it, but it's not really that much. But yeah, so let's just say I have work what I wanted and want to save it. So um, let's save it here. Yes. Um, remember to have it in full HD and set it on 60. Um, after this, you have to use this. That one. Um, it's something you need to download, but uh, Wei, Wei, 
the way I found it was from um, to make a decorator um, PV. So you can easily also just search UT video and then there all of that after. But this is the one I use and here you just click here and here so it's used as much as it can. Let's just say I need to take 500 frames of it. Uh, I also always have the physical on because so it don't look like you seen it like you just have clicked in in the or so so when it will process yeah but that's basic basically it um after it will be done with that um I will open um D DIVX converter um it's free to download and really something I use a lot um you just take the raw file into wait let's just that that's better okay you press add files and let's just say I want I'm not pretty sure what I want to here. Um, let's say I want this just random. Um, so it's just analyzing it. But you actually don't have to do. You don't need to touch that, this, or that. The only thing you have to do actually is clicking here, and you find plus 4K, so you can go as high as it want and you say start it won't normally it normally will take maybe up to 15 minutes depending on your PC this is a gaming laptop that I got um, a few months back so it will take a little time but this will go faster because it's not uh, the AVI file because <laughs> they are normally really huge it's just for fun. Whoop. Um, we take the AVI file, but you have to be sure you have enough space and all of that because these AVI files really fill a lot. So you need um, and don't do it on external hard disk, hard drive. Um, you need to use. I don't know uh, your video folder or so. I have I have tried more many times um, doing on an ex ha uh, external hard drive and it, like it went halfway and went stopped. So yeah, so be sure to have that at this as you can see and just say start. But this is basically a really, really easy way to get these uh, HD files that really look smooth and 60 frames per second and all that. But you also need to be sure your computer can handle it. So look what's up to date or if you know you have your PC for like 2-3 years, try maybe shorter videos because lo the longer they are the longer it the, the more it feels so that really depends on that a lot okay. so just need to finish that one but yeah as you can see just this it's 16 seconds and it takes some time so really really be sure to be pa patient to it's the conversion complete and um, you can either click OK and find yourself or if you click open it uh, makes a folder in videos and it was number four. So let's take a look. As you can see it looks the directive from MLD and it's totally smooth and really just looks great. So this is basically how I make my 
my videos this big, uh, this big, this great. So I hope really this can help a lot of you that maybe is really new into it and really want to begin making videos because this is really something I could have used back then because it's really some easy steps but to make really smooth and full HD videos. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a like to if you want more tutorials kind of like how do I make my models like you know, which stuff do I get where do I get my stuff from and everything literally uh, like I can try my best but if it I'm not really I can make something like basic stuff also in PMD -E, PMXE also but it's really not that much I can like I can fix like if one joint isn't connecting and crashing MMD, something like that. So I really hope you enjoyed like this video for more. Um, comment if you really liked it and what you want to see next. And subscribe if you want to see much more of all my stuff. So, and share, share it to your friends if you also like, maybe someone needs this help and just, it's like, just what you need. So yeah, guys. Bye-bye.